Well Site Revegetation for Peatland Restoration After reestablishing the hydrological functions of a decommissioned well site on peatland, the revegetation techniques that reestablish the bryophyte communities play a critical role in the recovery of disturbed peatland. First of all, we identify the donor site. A donor site is a natural peatland where diaspores are harvested for the revegetation of a disturbed peatland. The criteria behind the choice of a donor site includes the species composition, accessibility, peat chemistry, and the distance to the reclaimed well site. Once you've chosen the donor site, ground conditions will determine the best way to collect donor vegetation. The best season for moss harvesting is late fall or early spring when the ground is still frozen. This makes it easier to operate the heavy equipment needed to harvest and haul the vegetative material. Under frozen conditions, a dozer or bobcat can be used to harvest, pile and transport the propagules. It is most efficient and cost effective to remove the clay pad at the same time as harvesting and transporting the moss. If the donor vegetation is being collected during warmer conditions, Small and light equipment such as a rototiller attached to an Argo can be used to rip the top 10 centimeters of the moss carpet. The moss carpet contains fragments of moss, shrubs, and tree roots, and seed and moss. Once the donor material has been collected, it is stockpiled to allow water to drain out and reduce its weight before transporting it. If the ground is wet, it is recommended to airlift the propagules especially when the donor and reclaim sites are far from each other. When you are ready to begin revegetation on the reclaimed site, it is best to do so when the site is dry. The propagules should be spread in thin layers using a small manure spreader towed by an Argo. Ideally, the propagules should cover the whole surface of the reclaimed site. But at minimum, they should be spread at a 1 to 10 ratio that is using one square meter of donor material to revegetate 10 square meters of the former well site. Once the donor material is in place, it needs to be quickly covered to protect it from dying. Cover it with mulch made from freshly harvested green grass leaves and stems or wheat straw. Finally, we recommend artificially introducing native peatland shrubs and trees to the restored site. This will help create the conditions needed for successful revegetation.